What you should buy first in Red Dead Online – weapons, ability cards, pamphlets, horses, saddles and so on. In this video we're gonna talk about best purchases for beginners, something that you want to spend your money on on the first levels. Let's say until level 50, since it's the most important period of time, because later as you will level up you will have enough money to buy everything you want and then everything you don't even want and still you will find yourself with a lot of money left and nothing to buy. But it's gonna be much later. Until level 50 you will be always short on money, so you need to choose your purchases wisely. So let's begin with weapons. First of all I need to say that for free you will receive Cattleman Revolver and Carbine Repeater. And to be honest it will be absolutely enough to kill enemies in PvE. Especially if you're using Painted Black Ability card. We're gonna talk about this later. So you can keep these weapons. But when you will have some extra money for upgrade I suggest you to buy Lancaster Repeater, which is available on level 12 and will be a good choice for both PvP and PvE. And Cattleman Revolver you can replace with either Lemar Revolver or Navy Revolver. It's a pretty close choice. In my opinion Lemar Revolver is a little bit better for PvE because it has more ammo, but Navy Revolver is a little bit better for PvP. Plus Navy Revolver looks super awesome, that's why I personally use this one. Before we continue I just want to mention International Rescue Committee. And no, it's not a paid advertisement, it's a free free advertisement I just decided to talk about important charity organizations that are helping people across the world and IRC is one of them. Big respect, link in the description. By the way on level 25 you will be able to dual wield and use two revolvers at the same time, just don't forget to buy the cheapest holster, it costs like 8 dollars and add it to your outfit. So now when you have a repeater and double revolvers you are ready for any form of PvE, but you might say what about pistols, should I buy pistols? And my answer is no, you probably don't need pistols until you will reach higher levels, because pistols are good for PvP and as a low level you should not take part in any form of PvP because you're gonna be in a huge disadvantage. Your high level opponents will have overpowered tonics, ability cards, explosive armor and so on, it's not gonna be a fair fight. So you're not ready for PvP just yet and in PvE revolvers are bad edges because you can carry more armor for revolvers with youth and for pistols. So you will buy pistols later, preferably Mausers. Now we're gonna need some weapons for hunting. First of all I definitely definitely suggest you to buy Woman Rifle on level 8. It's pretty cheap and it's a really useful weapon for different situations. With this weapon you can hunt birds and smaller animals like rabbits without ruining carcass and pelt quality. Also it will be useful for collector role because you can get bird eggs off the trees with help of Woman Rifle. And you can even use it in PvE because you will kill enemies with a headshot. Just remember that it's not gonna work the same way in PvP, this weapon is not good to fight another player. Next weapon that is definitely a must have, especially on the lower levels, is a bow. You can buy regular one on level 10 or improved one on any level. I actually suggest you to buy regular one just because it's cheaper, An improved one has higher range but much lower damage. With bow you can kill bigger animals like deers without ruining the belt quality, but the most importantly, when you kill NPC or other player with a bow you leveling up your health bar. And yeah, you can also level Level up your health bar with help of fishing or by making kills in melee, but with the bow it's just the easiest method. Now you need another weapon for making clean kills when you're hunting deers or even bigger animals like alligators or bears. And here you have a choice, if you know that you're not good with free aiming and will rely on auto aiming or on painted black if you're playing on a PC, I suggest you to buy bolt action rifle, it's relatively cheap and you can buy it on level 7. But if you know how to free aim or at least you're willing to learn, I suggest you to go and buy rolling block rifle on level 13. It's a sniper rifle, so there is no auto aiming, no painted black, but it's a really powerful weapon. Sniper rifles are extremely good for most activities in Red Dead Online, for hunting, for PvP and for PvE, and later you will be able to buy a Karkana rifle, which is even better. Actually there is one more weapon that you might want to buy on the lower levels, I'm talking about shotgun. It's unnecessary, but it will make your 
life much easier in PV, especially if you're not that good with the headshots. Anyway, you might choose pretty much any shotgun that you want. According to my test, it's a pretty close choice. Pump action shotgun is well balanced and it's available from level 5, so maybe choose it when you will have enough money. Now, when we're done with weapons, let's move to another big category – horses and saddles. There is one important thing about horses in Red Dead Online that you should know – stats don't matter pretty much at all. According to my tests, one bar in speed parameter equals only to 0.6% difference in speed on practice. Acceleration doesn't matter at all, amount of stamina is completely not important because any horse when you will reach bonding level 4 and will have a good saddle will never run out of stamina, like never. And with that being said, you can choose pretty much any horse that you like, including the horses that you will receive for free at the very beginning of the game and you will be absolutely fine, just reach bonding level 4 and buy good saddle. But if you still care about stats, I suggest you to buy Mustang, because for this price it has pretty good balanced stats and additionally it has high amount of health and it's actually only parameters that can make at least some difference on practice. Also it has no level requirement, so if you like how Mustang looks, go ahead and buy it, it's gonna be a good choice. Now let's talk about more important thing, saddle, and here we actually have only one option, it's a no-brainer, Nekodoches, that is available on level 35 and will cost you $512. It's definitely the best saddle in the game and no other saddle is even close just because it's broken. Rocks are kinda messed up with stamina drain rate for this saddle, and if you will buy the most expensive steer wraps for this saddle, you will never run out of stamina on your horse. So yeah, just buy Nekodoches saddle and the most expensive steer wraps that you can and any horse will do absolutely fine. Now let's move to ability cards. It's a pretty important topic because they are quite expensive. To max up one ability card to level 3, you will need to spend $900. On the first levels, you will receive one to die ability card for free. I definitely suggest you to choose painted black here. And in the future, you should invest your extra money into leveling up this ability. This way, you will spend less to die on activating and using painted black and it's a pretty useful ability in different situations. Because it's not only marking targets, but also when you will activate it, even without placing a mark it will give you perfect accuracy for every weapon. But if this ability is only level 1, you will be running out of the dice super fast, so you want to invest money here. When you will reach level 10, you will be able to purchase your first passive ability card, but I actually suggest you to wait until level 28 and then buy I for an eye ability card. This ability card restores you some amount of dead eye for every headshot kill that you're making, and it will be pretty useful in PvE. Then on level 32, I suggest you to buy Strange Medicine ability card, which will heal you each time when you're doing damage. Again, really good for PvE if you don't want to spend all your money on tonics. And the last ability card that I suggest you to buy is called Blooded, increasing your regeneration after each kill. Anyway, on level 40, you will be able to to equip all these free passive ability cards at once and they will help you dramatically in PvE, just trust me, it's a really good PvE build. Later when you will have money, you might buy some damage ability cards, defensive ability cards, which is even better, but they are useful mostly for PvP. And now on lower levels, you will be absolutely fine with these 4 ability cards. Before we're gonna move to the last part, you might ask, what about roles? Which role should beginner buy first? Well, the answer will depend on your playing style. I have a separate video on this topic in which I'm explaining it in details, but most people are choosing either collector role or bounty hunter role, and in my opinion, right now it's a pretty close choice. Now, what else should you buy on low levels? First of all, you want to buy fishing rod. It's available on level 14 and it will help you not only to level up your health bar, but also complete some daily challenges. And you definitely should keep an eye on daily challenges, because it's a really good way of making gold bars on lower levels and on higher levels as well. As for pamphlets, I actually see only two good choices here. First of all, special health cure on level 50. It's the best tonic in the game. You can buy all the ingredients from Madame Nazar if you have collector roll and easily craft it. And if you have special health cure and sniper rifle, you can even fight some higher levels in 
PvP and be fine. Yes, it's expensive, $600, but it's worth it. Also, you might want to buy Split Point Ammo Pamphlet on level 28. It will help you to complete some achievements by crafting Split Point Ammo, and additionally, it's a pretty good ammo. It's worse than Express Ammo, but definitely better than regular ammo. Other pamphlets are either not worth it, or they're available only on higher levels, like Explosive Ammo, Dynamite Arrow, and so on. As for pamphlets that are increasing amount of ammo that you can carry with you for repeaters, pistols, revolvers, they're useful, but as a beginner you don't want to buy them, because first of all they're pretty expensive, but the most importantly they increase only amount of regular ammo that you can carry with you. Not express ammo, not high velocity, only regular, so you might want to buy them later. And that's it, it's all must-have items that you definitely want to buy. Obviously you will also buy some clothing, other cosmetics and so on. So yeah, you need a lot of money. And if you want to earn that amount of money pretty easily, even as a beginner, I suggest you to go and watch the videos that you can now see on your screen. Get rich fast in Red Dead Online. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe.